for the week of January 20th, I did a three-card spread. It's a very interesting spread. I did it from my John Holland deck. Um, usually I pull three three generic cards, and it can be past, present, future, mind, body, spirit, or just whatever for the collective reading, whatever <laughs> hits home for you. Um, but tonight, I it, it kind of fell into the order that it needed to be. Um, the cards totally have their own method of putting themselves where they need to be, so it kind of fell into the mind, body, spirit order. Um, that's what the green, purple, and red stand for in this deck. Um, and I totally believe that they wanted to show themselves. So um, these cards are showing us that as a collective, we're starting to really love something, whether it be something in ourselves, a newfound love interest, our jobs, or just general life abundance. So though things are hard through this retrograde and other times of life, it's really just important to re realize that there is love building out there for everything that we do, creating a, a river of flowing creation to help us continue and grow. Um, an opportunity of sorts is beckoning, a newfound devotion for an idea, goal, person, event, creative endeavor. All this is brewing in, in the mists of our, our minds, and it's a good time to open ourselves to the higher vibrations and go with the flow without making any hasty decisions, as I said before. Um, the new moon being in Mercury, marriages, proposals, other big long commitments, big purchases, not recommended. But just loving what you do and finding something to love is important at this time, be it a project, a person, whatever. Um, when past issues are resolved and you forgive whether it's yourself or others, it's um, important because you attain what your heart truly needs and is able to receive then and you lend out to a more loving direction and your divine path can then fully be revealed. So be willing and able to receive love as it's flowing towards you. Um, Neptune energy is strong in the planet of romance, so there's creative things happening there and beautiful things. Um, bringing us to our next card, which reveals that our physical bodies are experiencing some obstacles and challenges. And this is simply to help us overcome any fears that we may be having surrendering to the flow of the universe. And as it shifts as a collective into a more accepting frequency, or it could just be warning us for what's happening with the current retrograde and different things with Mercury, um, we're all beginning to realize that our self-worth is important. And though sometimes it's hard for us to put a price or, on our passions or our time or ask others to pay us for what our gifts are, we know that we deserve it, and the universe wants us to remember that. And it is an obstacle to get past that. But it's something that we're going to move forward with. Um, it's okay to look at the bigger picture and realize that though we're going through these times of insecurity and imbalance and hardship, there's good reason for it, and it's all leading us to bigger and better things and the chance to appreciate the good in things. Um, when you put your all into growth and experience, you then rise above any of the challenges. And once you overcome the challenge, you'll then be rewarded. So don't get too caught up in it. And look at the light. Move forward. Observe where your adjustments need to be made. And remember to not play the victim. Take the knowledge that um, you've just gained from the experience and apply it to similar situations in your future. This card often comes around with um, competition. It's an excellent time to get creative and ask yourself how you can shine above the rest, but not be smug about it. Just show the world what you're truly made of. Um, it also brings us to our last card, which reveals that our spirit is in a positive movement forward, which means we're learning and doing just what we're meant to do in our past, and though not everyone's experiences may be the same, know that it's this time of change, and with the planets in current positions, it's fairly intensely felt for every single person. Be kind to one another, and don't take things too personally. There's going to be many miscommunications in the next few weeks, and it's going to be a learning experience for every single person, and realizing where they need to improve and alter some of their personal habits and surroundings while they move forward. It's also number eight, which represents prosperity and abundance, so be welcoming to it, and it will show itself. Um, just it's your, in your efforts to move forward that have gotten you to this point and continue to follow whatever your passion is and allow opportunities to arise. So generally it's just another positive reading that shows us something we love is brewing in the most positive way and though we may face obstacles, amazing abundance is on the horizon and we simply have to be willing to love and accept it in its many forms.